Hi, I'm Phil Martino and welcome to Live from Canada's Big Music Night. We're in St. John's, Newfoundland for the 2002 Juno Awards. Behind me, on my right, Mile One Stadium, that's where the awards are taking place. And behind me on my left, that is the red carpet and uh, the limousines are for the artists who are arriving. But what we're going to do is we're going to take you inside and we're going to show you some of the things that happen backstage. I have a thing for the East Coast, so um, it's great to be here. Ladies yeah, yeah, and gentlemen, know, right. please welcome Nickelback. We won one Juno last year, and we were all pretty we were ecstatic about that. And we've won uh, we won three this year, and uh, I mean that's going to be a, an extremely tough act to follow. I mean now. Next year, uh, if we only win one Juno, people are going to be like, up, oh, they're, they're over. I'm just, I'm just really happy to be able to, to come home. And uh, after a while, you know, doing my thing, you know, independently and, and stuff, and um, to be able to come home and be, to be recognized by, by my peers and by the industry, I, I'm happy. Like, um, I didn't really know how to react at first. I was trying to find the words, and I had a general idea of what I wanted to say. Mm -hmm. But um, once I got up there, I just completely was like, okay, I gotta thank people. I gotta. I was trying to get it all out. It was. It was. It was uh, an unforgettable moment. I was. I was really blown away. I was really taken back. Where will you put the Juno? Mm, more than likely, uh, I guess in my bedroom. I'm assuming, like I don't know, um, probably in my bedroom. I'm, I'm actually hoping to buy a buy a house pretty soon, um, back home in Toronto. So hopefully, I'll be able to put it in my bedroom or above a mantle or something. There's no such thing as best songwriter. I think I realize that, but I I do actually steal from everything I hear. I think it's it's uh it's just a great feeling. Uh, like I've said countless times before, it's it's not about being the best at anything. I think being nominated. And being in the company of Leonard Cohen, Ron Sexsmith, Sarah Harmer, Rufus Wainwright, great, great writers. How in the hell they picked me? I don't know if it was an international drinking day across the country or people I've slept with <laughs> over the years in Karis. I'm kidding. I haven't had sex since 1979. But I'm already in, in the middle of um, the new album and I'm, I'm planning to drop it sometime around September. What do you think about your Canadian fans? I think they're absolutely wonderful. This is where this is where the excitement, just coming out of that out of the limo on the red carpet, and them just and they holding signs. That ain't for me, man. I'm wondering what is. somebody set them up. What'd you do? What'd you probably paid them to do that, I didn't did. you? It's a great feeling, and, and it's great to be part of the energy and the environment that's going on here in St. John's. It's a great place to uh, to have an event like this where music is really, you know, dominant, and uh, we've got a lot of great musicians here, so it's, it's awesome. Were you able to go out and to check out some of the live concerts that were out there this week? Yeah, we played last night, and we're, uh, we're on our way to a couple of shows tonight later on. The crowd's incredible here. Everybody's so nice, and everybody's here to have a fun time and party. We had a great time last night. No, I didn't win the Juno, but you know what was really cool? I'll tell you what it was. What was the coolest thing was being nominated among all those boys who are in, like, really popular bands. And uh, being, you know, because you got to rock twice as hard to be considered <laughs> half as good as a guy. And uh, I know that all my headbanging paid off over the years. And we have found one of the members of the band, just kidding, and it's the Unionville representative. So that's really exciting for us because it's a local angle for our uh, story on the Junos. Uh, how do you feel? I am so excited. I am so excited. This is the, the hoopla, the, the who's who of business. It's, it's exciting. I got new management. Everything is good. And... And uh, EMI and Virgin behind me. What are you working on? I'm working on a new album in uh, states in here, and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna hit them this time. They're not ready for me. That's why you know they're gonna say oh, again. Watch this one. Then. I'm gonna come now. We're working on some good stuff. You were able to host uh, the non-televised portion of the Junos. What was that like for you? Um, horrifying, brilliant, fun, scary, exhilarating. Uh, numbing and uh, great. <laughs> and what has it done for Newfoundland, um, you know, hosting this year's event? It's the first time ever. It's the first time. Um, I think in the history of Canada, um, I think it's basically been held in Toronto, Hamilton, both of those are Ontario, Vancouver, and now the other bookend of Canada, Newfoundland. And uh, this has been probably the biggest thing, you know. Except for the Pope's visit in 84, that was pretty big too. It was fantastic. I mean, we've been here for almost a week now, and uh, the city's been great to us. 
and uh, it was fun, you know. We we had to fight for our right to party. We came all the way from Newmarket to see you, especially you, you because wow. you're from Newmarket. Originally okay. from Glass Tiger. Yeah. <laughs> uh, first of all, how did you like uh, hosting the Junos? It was good. It wasn't as good as the Huron Heights Variety Night uh, in 1985 that I hosted, but uh, it was pretty close to as much work, um, except they didn't play any Rush tonight. The best part about being in St. John? Well, uh, the Good Brothers Parquet. I would say that the Oak Ridges Moraine is one of the great comforts of, of St. John. Yeah, absolutely. I would say the Black Hawk Motor Inn is one of my favorite parts yeah, of yeah, uh, St. John's. Okay. Hillcrest Mall, Upper Canada Mall. Yeah. Um, we've had a great time here. Yeah. Keeping it local. Yeah, keeping it real. Keeping it real. And yourself, what do you think about, really, St. John's? What do you think? St. John's, I mean, it's great. You know, they have these things here where you can get a bed and breakfast in the same place. I mean, it's... It's what unheard of. What a combo. Yeah. Rock and roll, great. bed and breakfast, yeah. fish and chips. Yeah. They got the combos down here. Mm -hmm. It was great. You know, the guys from Great Big Sea were, you know, great hosts for us. Great big hosts. Well, mm -hmm. thank you very much. Always a straight answer from you guys. I'm Phil Martino, and that's it for this edition of Live. Have a great weekend. <laughs>